Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're hunting in Silver Ridge Peaks and I'm gonna take you on a hunt that was pretty awesome, pretty crazy awesome. But before we head into the video, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so much for being here today. All right, so we just took a shot on a pretty monstrous level four Rocky Mountain Elk. And where we are right now is the lake above San Juan Outpost. This is my, probably my very favorite spot to hunt for elk. <laughs> this is the lake that I found the two level five elks at the same time on. And that is in a video called Double Diamond Elk and I will leave a link to it below. And I have found several pretty awesomely huge Rocky Mountain elk on this lake. This guy is a 457.1. He weighs 450.8 kilograms and we managed a double lung shot. And he is pretty nice. He has a pretty nice rack. I actually shot a level four that was 480 on the nose, like 1.4 below diamond on this lake as well. And I know other people who have shot diamond elk off this lake. So definitely an awesome spot to check for elk in their drink zone. And we have a Plains Bison here, max weight level four. Using the three. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. That's definitely a heart. That made him pile up real fast. And he is definitely a gold. 191.6, he's a big guy. 1,019.14 kilograms. And that was a left lung heart shot from 262.94 meters. And I do like this lake a lot. So we are on my own map. That's why there are tents down. Thought it would be fun to give my map a go, get some respawns going. That's a pretty nice muley. We have quite a lot of pronghorn and mule deer they are out here drinking at the same time and pronghorn drink from 8 to 10 30 and 1900 to 21 30. if i'm hunting pronghorn i tend mostly to hunt them in their morning zone and muleys drink from 9 to 10 or 10 30 and 23 to midnight or 12 30. so you have an overlap there you're gonna have both of them drinking at the same time so you can do one stop shopping <laughs> which is my favorite and this guy doesn't seem to have spooked, so I have something for him as well. And that should be good. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's down. He is down. We are hunting with a 30 odd six today. Decided to switch it up from the M1 and the seven mil. And wow, that is a very nice mule deer. <laughs> yeah, that is a really nice one. I am excited to get him off my map and see what responds. He is pretty big. And that is good. He is gonna pile up right there. That's pretty sweet. And that's our level three. He is a silver. 213.2 and he is a gray. The threes are way bigger than they used to be, even though that guy's a silver. He's still pretty nice. Now this is the first level four that we shot. He is a 242.3. He's pretty nice. 170.57 kilograms and he is a blonde. Double lunged from 266.01 meters. And that's a pretty nice one. But this... Oh my goodness, look at him. He, wow, look at his score, 269.2. He is 182.79, also a blonde. And we managed a double lung from 206.83 meters. And that is awesome. That's a couple really nice mule deer. So that's pretty sweet. Um, when you kill any animal off of your map, it will respawn and it will respawn usually in the same weight class, but it can vary. And it's gonna come back either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. And a lot of times they come back just a little bit bigger and 
as you keep shooting them off your map, they should eventually grow to be larger and hopefully you can eventually spawn a diamond. And here we have a level five bighorn sheep. And huh, I just jumped on a multiplayer server. And I'm pretty excited to see this guy. This is a brown and I have been wanting one of these. So I really am crossing my fingers that he is big enough because that's the first one that I've seen. And I just think they are so beautiful. I love the coloration of them. And we smoked him. Yes, yes, that is awesome. So there, we are on a multiplayer. I am not host. And I decided to take a fairly long shot because they can spook so easily and things can go wrong in multiplayer. Yes, baby, he is a diamond. 172.5, that is awesome. He is 156.79 kilograms. He is a brown. Look at the horns on him. Oh, he is awesome. And we shot him from 220.79 meters. I guess it wasn't that far of a shot, not too bad. And that is awesome. I'm definitely gonna put him in the lodge. And that's where we found him. No one had been to that lake. Whenever I jump on a multiplayer server and I see a main lake and no one has ever been to it, I had str Oh my goodness. Okay. I like this server. <laughs> okay, we just found a level five bison and literally we just shot that diamond bighorn like five minutes ago. All right, so he has gone out of view for me. He was spooked when I spotted him. So we are gonna track him. We have a nice open field down there, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Now, a max weight track for bison is a track that if I were to pick up, I would follow. It's gonna lead you to a big four or a level five, especially if I'm on my own map, because either way, that whoever's at the end of that track needs to die. Because <laughs> if it's a five, it could be a diamond, and if it's a four, it could respawn as a diamond, so. And that is a level three. That is not our guy. Just want to make sure I don't lose his tracks when I spot other things. All right. He's got to be here somewhere. We seem to have a whole pile of bison here. There he is. There he is. Okay, he is more than likely going to drink here. He's just moseying on in, and he is nervous. There are no collars for bison. Yep, so it is bison drink time, and they drink from 10 till 11 or 11.30, and again from 16 to 17 or 17.30. Generally just an hour, but sometimes an hour and a half. And I'm not sure where the big guy has disappeared to, but he's gotta be in here somewhere. I'm just gonna sneak my way in my wind. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yes, yes, we got him. <clears throat> <laughs> he got me too. Oh, I better get out of here. Yes, baby. Okay, here we go. is not a diamond he is a troll he is a 219 and they go diamond at 221.1 that's disappointing oh well guess you can't win them all he is a uh, 1116.94 kilograms he is just short and we did manage a right lung liver stomach and intestine shot i guess those 600 green arrows really do <laughs> slice into them and this is where we found the big guy. He wasn't quite big enough, but still an awesome spot for bison. And hopefully he will respawn as something even bigger for someone else. So now we are at what is probably my favorite bear lake, the lake outside of Mule Deer Outpost. And bears are drinking. They do a whole lot of drinking. And this guy is a level seven. We just took a shot on him. Looks good. There are always just a pile of bears at this lake during their drink time. And he is a gold, 21 on the nose. 
<laughs> I may get killed while I'm looking at the scorecard, but hey, what are you gonna do? Outpost isn't too far, so. That's where we found him. There's always just a pile of bears there. All right, we have a level two max weight range turkey. Whenever I see these guys, they always die. They have a very small chance of making diamond. I've probably killed, I don't know, 40 or 50 of these max weight level two turkeys. And so far I have one diamond level two turkey. Come on, be a diamond, be a diamond. No freaking way. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that more often. Oh my goodness, that is kind of crazy. He is a diamond, 4.6 on the nose. He is a level two. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Well, we shot this guy with the 22 and we managed to shot it from 216.50 meters. I guess if you shoot enough of them, you're gonna find one eventually. And this is one of my favorite lakes. This is a lake off of Tabagooch Outpost. And it's been a really great lake for me. Found lots of good stuff here. Okay, so we're gonna quickly pop into the lodge and this is our level two turkey. He's a 4.6. Wouldn't it be nice if they put the level of the animal and the weight on the plaque? I would love that. And this is our diamond bighorn and he is a brown and I just think he is so cool. He is pretty huge. And I think that's a great way to end our video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join us for more videos. We have lots of awesome content coming up. Until next time, head out to Silver Ridge Peaks and slay yourself a monster. You guys take care.